Hello YouTube family, hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're gonna to be talking about how I use Adobe Fresco in my everyday process. So for those of you who have followed me for a long time, who follow me on Instagram, who have followed my YouTube videos, you'll know that I tend to use Adobe Fresco a lot. In fact, it's the number one piece of software that I use on the iPad, and it sometimes even takes the place of using Adobe Illustrator completely. Now, you may have seen my previous video where I go through and do a deep dive walkthrough about Adobe Fresco and how you can go about using it. If you haven't, you can check it out down below in the show notes or something over here, over here will pop up uh, and you can definitely check it out. But I've been using Adobe Fresco now since 2017 when it was originally a beta and it's something that has slowly become very paramount to my creative process. I use it for not only my personal work, but also for my client work. In fact, every single client project, no matter big, small, branding, illustration, every single one is started in Adobe Fresco. I usually will use Adobe Fresco for sketches, for doodles, whether it's super detailed or super rough sketches. Some illustrations are done 100% in Adobe Fresco, only being taken into Illustrator to do the coloring and touch-ups. So for the most part, it is a critical part of my creative process. The only thing that really differentiates whether I use Adobe Fresco or I use Adobe Illustrator when it comes to creating illustrations comes down to the style itself. Some illustrations, the ones that are flat, um, more dimensional, those illustrations are the ones that usually are done in Adobe Illustrator. The ones that are more line work, they're more hand-drawn aesthetic, those are done in Adobe Fresco. And the crazy thing is, or the great thing is about Adobe Fresco is that it's slowly growing and getting better and better to the point where it could ultimately replace a good amount of the work that I do in Adobe Illustrator. Just a week ago before this recording at Adobe Max, they actually announced a whole slew of new updates, of new features within the Adobe Fresco app, including a text feature, uh, including a cool uh, vector trim uh, feature. That's actually my favorite part of the new update. So they're constantly going through and they're constantly making the app better. One thing that I've noticed, especially with some of their older apps like Adobe Photoshop Sketch and Adobe Illustrator Draw, both apps that I went through and did complete uh, walkthroughs and tutorials on in the past, the biggest problem they had was it took too long for them to go through an update. But with Adobe Fresco is they constantly have a team that's going in, getting feedback from people, especially creators like myself or others who have been on Adobe Live, and they're constantly making the app better. Now, what does the future hold for Adobe Fresco? I'm not quite certain. Uh, I think that they're gonna keep on going through and updating it and adding more stuff to it, but we don't really know because of what just came out of Adobe Max, which is Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. Now, when we compare Adobe Fresco to other drawing apps on the iPad, I have to be a little bit biased here and say that Adobe Fresco is by far my favorite drawing app. And I'll tell you the main reason why. You have other drawing apps like Procreate. Procreate is one of the biggest drawing apps on the iPad, and yet it is not one of my favorites. In fact, I have not used Procreate probably in the last few years. Uh, I've been using all the Adobe apps like Adobe Illustrator Draw and now Adobe Fresco for all of my doodling and drawing needs. Now, the reason why Adobe Fresco is so great in my mind is because unlike the other apps, it is raster base and vector base. Now, for those of you who may not know the difference between raster and vector, raster is more of uh, pixel base. It's more of JPEG quality. Vector is more editable. So it can be uh, made into an Illustrator file. It can be brought into Illustrator. It can be altered and manipulated much more at a higher quality than raster. Another big difference is vector can be blown up in size versus raster, which pixelates the more that you blow it up. Now for me, I am a vector-based illustrator, so it makes sense that I will be looking for a vector-based drawing app, which Adobe Fresco hits all of the marks 100%. 
Now, the question is, will Adobe Fresco be the number one drawing app or the number one app that I use creatively forever? Maybe, maybe not. All apps are constantly changing. All apps are getting better, at least the ones that are built well, like Adobe Fresco. Adobe Fresco is always changing. It's always getting better. Now, with Adobe Illustrator on the iPad that was just released, which I'm gonna talk about in a future video, I don't know if it's gonna be something that will take over the mantle for Adobe Fresco. The biggest reason is because this is a 100% vector app versus Adobe Fresco, which also has raster base. Now for me, all of my sketches and doodles, none of them are generally vector. They're always raster. So this is where this comes into mind. Now, the fact that it's both raster and vector, it means that I can create my sketch and my finished artwork all in one single app. And that's the thing that really speaks volume. Now, when I first started using Adobe Fresco, when they first showed it to me for the first time, I actually didn't understand the power of having both raster and vector in the same drawing app. Now, I remember at the time when I first was introduced to the app, it was called Project Gemini, and I wasn't that thrilled about it. I was just coming off of using Adobe Illustrator Draw and Adobe Photoshop Sketch for a lot of my digital creations on the iPad, and so I didn't see the real point to it. In retrospect, I kind of feel like I was wrong. Actually, I don't think I know for a fact I was wrong because this app is so powerful. Now, I know in this video, I haven't been actually creating anything. You've probably seen some B-roll where I'm going through and I'm showcasing me drawing within the app and creating, and I think that's okay. The whole purpose of this is just to talk about my creative process and how I use Adobe Fresco. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked what you saw, if you liked what you heard, please hit that like button. Uh, please also remember to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed and hit that notification button so that you can be notified when I post a new video, which will be a lot more often now that I have an amazing editor for my uh, podcast and my YouTube channel, who is probably listening to this and smiling from ear to ear that I mentioned her on the video. Now, if anybody has any questions about my creative process or you have any ideas for future content, please feel free to leave a comment down below, or if you'd like to just say hi, please do so. Until next time, everybody, I hope you all are staying safe out there during this pandemic and this time of uncertainty. And always remember to stay passionate, stay positive, and stay creative. That's it for me, everybody. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.